the OPI Bond Girls collection to show you guys today. This is part of their summer line. that They have a full summer line of liquid sand polishes, which is their effect polishes, which are those like leather looking, sort of sandy looking effect um, polishes <laughs> that a lot of people are doing this year. And OPI announced, I think a couple of months ago, that their summer line of these would all be based off of Bond Girls, which is really exciting because they did the whole Skyfall collection in the winter, which I have a full video of and I will link down below if you guys didn't know about that. But they have the Bond Girls for the summer and I'm really excited again because I'm a huge Bond fan um, and it's just one of my favorite movie fan fr franchises of all time. And then the fact that it's paired with one of my favorite brands of all time is just kind of like awesome. So yeah, I'm just going to show you the six colors. I got all six colors. Currently they are actually available at Ulta and Ulta now ships uh, OPI off of their website. So if you are someone that doesn't have an Ulta near you, you can actually get them on Ulta's website now. Um, but I got them from my local beauty supply store. The lady, the manager that uh, works there always orders me the OPI collections early and so that I can and, you know play with them and she's all excited about it too so yeah there are six colors they're pretty summery except for one one's not really quite that summery again they're based off of six different girls that have been in bond movies um the first one i'm going to show you is called jinx and this was based off of the halle berry character um not my favorite character in terms of Bond Girls, but this is definitely a gorgeous polish. This is obviously based off the orange bikini that she's wearing in the movie. Um, it is a really bright tangerine orange with gold shimmer in it. And then when it dries down to that liquid sand texture, it's crazy. It's super vibrant. Um, it's perfect for the summer. I'm not a big fan of orange nail polishes, but this definitely makes some of my like top five orange nail polishes. And this is definitely going to be at least on my toes over the summer because it's so pretty. The next one is called a Tiffany Case, which is a nice sort of aqua blue color with a silver shimmer in it. There's some bigger pieces of silver and blue as well in this polish. This one is gorgeous on the nails. It's super reflective. It's super metallic. It does stain your nails though, so be careful of that when you wear this. Um, this is probably one of my favorites of this bunch because it's just one of my favorite colors and that texture after it dries just makes it so much more metallic and uh, reflective looking. The next one is called Pussy Galore um, and obviously named after the famous Pussy Galore character um, as all of these are named after characters. This one is a frosty pink color and I originally did not think that this was going to be a color that I would like based off of other people's swatches because it's a frosty pink and it definitely dries down to a frosty pink like color but there's a really delicate sort of mid-tone pink glitter or shimmer that's in this and when it dries down and that texture um, dries down the pink glitter that's in this really comes out and it's really nice it's sort of the same pink shimmer that you would find in like max reflex pink glitter which is one of my favorite products if you're not a big frosted pink color fan I would definitely look at it though because you can see the pink shimmer in the bottle and it's really quite pretty when it dries down on the nails the next one is called Vesper and Vesper happens to be one of my favorite Bond girl characters um, this is a really really dark purple base with a gold uh, texture to it and this is not like the other ones because this is not a glittery or metallic type base like the other ones are um, or really any of the other OPI liquid sand polishes have been. This one, the base of it's actually really similar to OPI's Linkin Park After Dark. It's a little bit more purple though and less brown and the black sort of sandy base in this definitely comes through in when it dries um, and this is not a color that you want to wear with a top coat. The other ones you could wear with a top coat and the glitter will come out a little bit more. This one kind of looks awful with the top coat, but when it, it's in that texture, it's really, really cool looking. It's a nice spin on the dark nail, um, and this is perfect for that character, and I love this one. The next one is called Honey Rider, and it is sort of a pale gold color that has gold flecks in it, so when it dries down, it's another really metallic-like finish on the nail. Um, if you're a Penguins fan, this happens to be a perfect Penguins. It's Vegas gold is their um, team color, but this is like 
like a perfect gold for that. Um, but regardless of that, it's a really nice pale gold. Um, it's going to be really nice over the summer. I think this would look great on a tan or skin tone. Um, but it's also that kind of gold color that will look good on a lot of different skin tones as well. So that one is Honey Rider. And then the last one is called Solitaire and it is a frosty white color with a silver glitter in it. This is another one that I thought I wouldn't like based off of other people's swatches, but when it's dried down, it's another really metallic, nice finish. So I do recommend this also to go look at it at least in the store or in person if you can, if you didn't think you were going to like this originally. Um, I honestly happen to really like it, especially in the sun. It gives a nice, vibrant, uh, white look. If you are really tan, I think this would look amazing on you. Um, so yeah, that one is Solitaire. Just to recap what these liquid sand polishes do, you want to put them on and um, not put a top coat on them because then the effect will go away. OPI says not to use a base coat either. I found that with a base coat it doesn't really alter the formula at all. Um, what I love about these is that these were pretty much opaque in two coats for me and they dry down really quickly. They're pretty much dry to the touch within, I don't know, two minutes um, and they wear really nicely on me they don't chip for like five days on me and they don't budge and they dry down really quick so it's an easy way to get a manicure on without really thinking about it before running out the door um, I don't know if you really want to do this for like a formal occasion because of the texture but I think these colors are really nice for the summer and if you're someone that just wants to do it and go then these would be great colors for you if you don't mind the texture. Um, so yeah, those are the OPI Bond Girl colors. They retail for about $8.50 or $9 each. Again, you can get them at Ulta and most salons or beauty supply stores um, should have them at least out by the first week of May. I think that's when the original release was supposed to be was the first week of May. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. I absolutely love these. Um, I, uh, I do have the Julie G texture, like, I think they're called gumdrop polishes coming in the mail because they were on Groupon and they were like super discounted. Um, and I am going to order the Zoya Summer Pixie Dust ones, which also come in a nice bright variety of colors. The Julie G ones, there's just a primary red, yellow, and blue, plus an orange and a purple, and I think there's a green, so it's like a nice rainbow. The Zoya Pixie Dust ones are brighter colors. They're, there's like a magenta and a purple and a blue. Um, so if you are someone that likes these finishes there's definitely by the summer going to be a color um, out there in like every shade if you're someone that's not quite sure about these polishes then again by the summer you'll be able to pick out your favorite shade in this finish whether it's from Zoya or from OPI because Zoya's um, original release of the pixie dust have quite a delicate range of colors. Um, I have a video of those, by the way, and I will link those down below. Um, so yeah, if you're someone that's unsure about these, you'll be able to pick your kind of favorite color in this finish from those certain brands um, as well. China Glaze and Milani, again, have, I mentioned this in my original textured polish video, China Glaze and Milani have these sort of finished uh, polishes as well as Nails Ink, but they don't have the glitter in them. They dry down um, kind of similar to Vesper, actually. They dry down to more like textured leather-like finish. So if you're someone that doesn't quite want the glitter, but you want the texture, then you can always check out those collections as well. Um, I hope this was informational for everyone. If you guys like this video, please like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, I would love to know what you guys think about these polishes, so let me know in the comments down below. And I hope you guys are doing well, and I will see you guys soon.